In Ohio's 5th Congressional District, the Democratic challenger stands a reasonably good chance of being elected to Congress in a race against a politically seasoned Republican. In part, it's because, as they say, timing is everything. Correspondent Steve Brown explains. It may not be a perfect storm, but it may be good enough for Robin Wyrock. I think it's a great time right now. I think I'm in the right place at the right time, and, uh, and as many of us are saying, it's our time. Wyrock, a Democrat who's run unsuccessfully for Congress twice, is in a surprisingly tight battle with Republican state lawmaker Bob Latta in Tuesday's special election. Voters from Ohio's 5th District will select a replacement for longtime GOP Congressman Paul Gilmore, who died in September. The district is normally GOP turf. This district is so prominently Republican, it supported George Bush at 61% in 2004 versus 51% at the state level. In this race, national issues have taken a backseat to local economic concerns. The district has seen layoffs in its large concentration of manufacturing plants. No one has this feeling of job security anymore. And Wyrock's campaign has attempted to tap into the district's anxious, unionized, blue-collar workforce. For Latta, there seem to be two issues. The first is reminding the Republican majority here that there is an election. We're, not, we're still calling people to say, what election? The special election called by Democratic Governor Ted Strong Strickland is just two weeks before Christmas. Latta expects turnout to be less than 20 percent. Factor in Mother Nature, and it could go lower. If the weather's this bad, I'm probably not going to vote on Tuesday. The Tuesday forecast, rain may be freezing rain. Over a million dollars worth of TV ads by outside groups are also a factor. One ad may have a lingering impact on Latta. In the primary, the anti-tax group Club for Growth hammered Latta's support of a hike in Ohio's gasoline tax. Tax and spend Bob Latta? Is there still a lingering effect from the ad? I'm not really sure. It's, because it's really difficult because, again, we're in an odd cycle. And it's, it's really, again, who gets out. And the Ohio Republican Party is counting on a big absentee ballot push to carry Latta to victory. On the eve of the election, however, the state party says this one looks like a dead heat. In Bowling Green, Steve Brown, Fox News.